No. No, Cassandra. No. Damn it. You... Real cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. my home too <laughs> I doubt that I hope to see you again Best outfit in the game. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, um. Oh my god. Well. Harold is beating me for Suzerain of Laventa. Irritating. You know, I'll work on Stockholm. He can have Laventa. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Guys, you ready? Nice. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. This is fine, this is okay. <laughs> set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. 
I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. Fine. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Psst. Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis. Guard. Guard. Arrest this man immediately. No. No. God. <laughs> okay. I am taking the win even if I have to redo it. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. Tori's Museum, where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom in small text, it says, The Church of the Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. Auto drive. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both. 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 Both is good. That could work. I forgot about these guys, too. <laughs> what? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. I stand corrected. Damn. Watch out. This is actually pretty cool. Also a little bit terrifying. For 
Ferengi pack-led. My god. Seriously? You can be pack-led? Rigelian, Sarian, Tellarite, Trill, Vulcan, and Alien. Wait, what? Alien, as opposed to... Ah. Oh, you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. doing pretty decently so far. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. At first, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smilderf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> Surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? <gasps> Spider Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> oh. Good work, other Spider Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. Here. Use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Ah. Uh Bruce, -huh. Roda. Carlos be with you. What was that, Leggett? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. Could you keep that down, please? You're making it hard to aim. Thank you. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh, wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Well, so much for that. <laughs> um. Whoops. <laughs> Oh no! 
feels too much like this is finished. It's not at all finished. I've still got so much more to do. But it's coming along so nicely. I really like what is happening with this place. I'm just going to leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I. Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. I played this war of mine back in 2014. It's one of the earliest games I ever played on stream. I call it Depression the Game. I don't play it anymore. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Stony Poodle. Rana no prata don't know. Sarja. It's you a Benki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. Oh, these look like good books. Aedra and Daedra. Chances folly. There's potions on the shelf here. That's excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. I hope you are all ready for a satisfactory evening of building and relocating, because we are going to move to a different location within the game world. So let's get into it, shall we? We need to get the game started up. Uh, this might actually be a little more challenging than you might think. I've been playing this off stream for several weeks now, and I have been doing it in 4k because that's not a problem when i'm just playing on my own ah there we go but i had to switch back to 1080 for stream and okay never mind it looks like it's going well hey tagarong how's it going okay so right i <laughs> i'm so used to just hitting continue let's load library of lore I might give you a little bit of a tour of what I've done. Um, it's kind of the reason that I'm so very familiar with this area that we're moving to. We're going to move ourselves over to the other location, the desert start location. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to actually pack up and relocate all of this. Most of it, we're just going to leave here. I think that's going to be just fine. But I want to do a few things before we do that. First and most important, I want another coal factory, or uh, not factory, another coal power plant up and running before we move. What the? F what are you doing here? Rude, I don't even have a gun yet. Get back here. 
Jeez. Okay, so... What are we gonna do? We're gonna put that away. Oh, you know what it is? I think an update came out. Uh, well, I mean, I'm on Experimental, so I'm sure many updates have come out. But I think that means that most of the wildlife that had previously been eliminated from the area is no longer eliminated from the area. Because I ran into that in my other save as well, where stuff just, you know, it had been clear forever. And all of a sudden, everything had respawned. Yeah, we've got more dudes over that way. I will... Actually, let me show you real quick. Uh, let's save this one. I have upgraded a little bit from rebar gun. I'm still using the rebar gun, but I'm not using rebar as ammo anymore. Hey, Unstara. Hey, Jessica. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. Let's load up the offline game real fast. I've built up a little bit more extensively than I have in this one. I'm doing pretty good, Jessica. Everything is quite satisfactory. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> this is fine. It's okay. Oh, I can't drive on that. I need a ramp. <laughs> Thank you, Tagarong. So, I've got this area here. This is basically an entire iron mine just completely devoted to producing screws. That's my copper area right there. That's devoted at the moment to producing nothing but wire and copper sheet. I don't even have cable automated yet. Over here, we've got a few things. We've got mostly ironworks. This is... what is this? This is that stuff, the name of which I can never remember. It's like the... Cat, not cadmium. Caterium? Something like that. I've got that going there. I kind of did set this up as an experiment in perfect efficiency. Oh, I don't mind the random ramp. I had been working on lights earlier. So I had that working so that the output of the mine was being completely used up in real time by all the smelters. And then I just didn't really do a whole lot with it after that. I've started experimenting a little bit with hypertubes. Up here I've got crystal works and steel. And... hang on. Up here is steel, really. I branched it off because I figured it was easier than working on the steel down there. So, we've come up here, and I don't actually have this all hooked up at the moment, but it's taking forever to use up all the steel. I was going to feed it into this, but I'll get to that eventually. Hey, Shark, how's it going? Uh, here we've got sulfur and coal being turned into both black powder and compressed coal, which is all going, or compacted coal, sorry, all of which is just being fed directly into this thing, the fix-it thing, so that I get lots of coupons, in theory. I mean, it's actually a little bit slow. I like the hypertubes, they're kind of cool, although I find I have a little bit more of a twisty run and it kind of makes me a little bit motion sick because it is fairly long and fairly twisty. I'll show you that in a moment. 
And then we have concrete out here. And we've got the very bare beginnings of oil and plastics over this way. And the oil... ...comes from a somewhat more distant location. Ah! There we go. And yes, I kept everything on the same freaking grid. Oh boy. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll have to not save the game, I guess, and reload it later. And of course, it just goes to autosave. I think that might be the first time I've ever submerged an explorer. As for what I'm using, yeah, I am still using the rebar gun. Um, just thought of that now because we're passing by that relic site. I think I already killed the guardian thingies. Oh, nope, it's back. There. I am using shatter rebar, but I haven't upgraded to a better actual base weapon yet. That's true, I can do that. Okay, so I won't worry too much about the save game. So this is the same island, as far as I'm aware at least, that we're going to have to go to to get oil in the other location. Unless there's something closer by to that start location, I'm not sure. But this is the oil well I've got going. I haven't done the others yet. There's like four more in this area that I'm aware of so far. I've only got the one. And then I've got the hyper tube back. Uh, just a little bit of a caution. I am not prone to motion sickness from games at all. And... Most of the time, this is actually fine for me. But sometimes when it turns a lot and the camera goes all wavy and it gets a little bit weird, I get a little bit upset in the stomach area. So just, you know, be aware and be prepared to look away from the screen if you need to. I do find it helps. Oh, that thing respawned again as well. I thought they weren't supposed to respawn if you've built in the area. That's a little weird. I find if I keep my hands off the mouse and just allow it to do what it's going to do, it's better. But if I try to keep the camera looking in the same direction that I'm actually traveling in, that tends to be what does it to me a little bit more. So if I just leave it like this, I'm probably okay. And the reason it does such strange, you know, techniques going around is just because I, you know, I already had the oil pipeline built. And so I just plopped the hypertube things on top of that. I can probably shorten the trip significantly because there's, like, I, I did the oil line so that it was perfectly level and I didn't have to use a lot of pumps to make the oil flow uphill or anything like that. The hypertube, you don't really need to worry about that. So I don't necessarily have to have it follow the oil line quite so strictly. There we go. I have not actually built a proper exit for the tube. I used to have a better one. 
but then I paved over it pretty extensively. Uh, most of this was open sand last time. So yeah, that's about where I'm at. It's a little bit more built up and developed than the other one. And I haven't really done anything up in the coal area at all. But I have some ideas about what we might do in the other games. So let me just... I'll just save this. I don't really care about the explorer being missing in action for a little while. Honestly, I'm so busy building around here that I'm not really using the explorer right now anyway. What's my power? I've got six coal power plants, as well as the two biopower plants on the hub. And I've got, I think it's five or six batteries built. Okay, so let's check for wildlife in unexpected areas. And that actually reminds me, I need to get the rebar gun in this save, because I don't even have that yet. In the other save, I've got the rebar gun, and I've got the upgraded Xeno Zapper thing. Oh, you are here, you son of a gun. Get the heck off my mining platform. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Okay, now power here. Let's see. Wow, production's so low. Capacity's 145, though. I guess that's not so terrible. Wait, what? Are we producing less than we're consuming? I don't know. I need to check a few things. We need to build an awesome sink, so I've got everything I need. I'm running 12 coal, 6 overclocked fuel, and 2 geothermal, and it doesn't cover it if everything is turned on at once. Well... You've got a lot more than I do at this point. Like, I'm not even at the point where I can do trains yet in that playthrough, let alone this one. So you probably have significantly more power needs than I do. The six coal power plants are enough for me at the moment. I do have... Oh, what the hell? You two, get out of here. This is my factory. You can't have it. Okay, so where's everything going? I need to know where stuff is stored. Oh, I was in the middle of rebuilding a bunch of crap, wasn't I? That's actually slightly awkward. Because I had a specific plan in mind here. going to do is redo a little bit of this as well. Doesn't all have to be ramped. some of this. I see Sean is back back there. Haven't seen him in a while. Huh? 
No, oh jeez, I'm still using these. That's okay. We can use those. I'm just gonna feed stuff into awesome sinks. Which, I suddenly remember, do need to be powered. Because I haven't done anything with the awesome sinks yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I did need another coal power plant. Or at least I wanted one. We have our Tower of Power. Where am I going to put another one? I guess it doesn't matter, because we're not going to really use this site as much. This will probably become a satellite base area. Power oh, I can do batteries too. That'll be good. I'll need to get a couple of those set up. So let's get... Oops. I wanted that. So I need 10 rotors and 10 more cables. In the other base, mostly level 3. Unless I have a particular reason for going slower, which I do in a few areas. Just to keep things... You're flowing at a decent speed. Um, mm -hmm. Can I do... Where is everything? Oh, I can't even do the yellow power shards yet. Okay. Mark five? Oh geez, I can't even imagine. Okay, so I needed ten rotors. And I need cable. Perfect. And then I'm going to need a crap ton more cable after that. I've never automated cable production for some reason, but we're going to need a lot of it because I'm going to... My idea is we're going to build this other coal plant. We're going to feed a lot of stuff into the coupon making crap. And I'm going to string a big power cable from here all the way to the desert start area. And when I do go and work in the desert start area, I think I'm going to set up my coal power plants right at the Crater Lakes area on the cliff instead of bringing all of that coal down the cliff you know, along the mountain path the way that I did in the other save. Because, you know, that was effective. It worked. But, man, that was a lot of cable building that I just don't really think is all that strictly necessary. Ah, copper sheeting. Mark 5 is so nice when you get there, especially for long distance. You don't happen to remember when you get to Mark 5, do you? I'll 
I'll just do about 50 copper sheeting. That'll probably work. Close enough. Okay, there's our water. Oh, that's not gonna work well, is it? Never mind. I need to get coal from there over to here. Let's see. This is where I regret that I didn't already have the cool... What the heck? Oh, okay. This is actually easy. Never mind. I... What? How do I not have enough cable? Didn't I just make some? I thought I did. Oh, jeez. Tier 6 or 7? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's going to be a little while. do for now. I think before we do start the trek over, I'm going to have to automate cable production for the first time ever in either save. Just because I'm not going to have enough to do the wiring otherwise. I've done some pretty long, well, you know, I'm sure by your standards it's nothing, but by my standards I've done some pretty long distance cable runs, but nothing like this one. see if I can make this go well oh. <laughs> okay I hate that Production chain to make what you need is a pain to set up, but once it's up, set up, it makes a ton of it quick, so you can upgrade and make lines easily. Yeah. Oh, actually... I forgot to show you. There's another part. By far the biggest pain in the ass in the other save. That I probably didn't need to do. There's probably better ways, but I did it, so I'll show you. Which means I might need to go disassemble the Explorer and bring it back, actually. Or maybe flip back the, um, what you call it, the uh, tractor. Oh, did the game decide to lock on me instead of loading correctly? That's fun. Thanks, game. An unreal process has crashed. Great. I'll just restart it.
That's the first time I've ever actually had the game crash on me. That's better. Thank you. Yeah, where am I? Okay. Oh, I'm here. Right. Let's go get the explorer. It's too bad you can't hop out of the hypertube on the way. But it's not really that far. It's okay. I... Oh, not that. I like this thing. This is fun. Okay. I wish there was a way to hide the wires. I don't suppose that opens up as an option later on in the tech tree, does it? That's maybe my biggest pet peeve with the game, is just how incredibly unsightly all the wires get. I would really love to be able to bury them. Or make them wireless. Or do something. Anything. This is that same route that we ran all the way from the uh, you know the other game's start location here just to get a bunch of quartz. Obviously much easier from the desert start location, but I had to come all the way out here and I ran all these lines. And I discovered I did not know, I was completely unaware, there's another coal mine right here. I had no idea. I discovered it accidentally. Personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. So I ran lines to bring all of this quartz back. You really want to go, don't you? There you go. And then I had to come back out again, and I did another line for sulfur. So this is where all the sulfur's coming from. And then I discovered just how incredibly close all of this is to my original coal mining site at the top. So I probably, there's, there's probably a way that I could have run all this stuff a lot more easily. Oof, this is getting a little bit rough on the frame rate. I probably could have run it a little bit more efficiently 
if I'd come through all here, just gone right up here, through here, where I've discovered, by the way, there is another purple slug, so I can replace the one that I lost. Oh, hello. You do have to deal with the natives, they are a little restless. There's a little artifact in there I haven't gotten yet. This is the only downside. You have to cut through this crap. But then you're all of a sudden right at the Crater Lakes where I set up all my power. Or my, not power really, but the coal mining. I've seen people make paths three wide using the eight meter foundations on the sides and two meters on the top bottom in the center and the space between the two meters is enough for belts and wall power to be hidden. Eight meter foundations? Are you talking about these foundations? I need to come clean this up. I, uh, there, there were, you know, like I said, a bunch of stuff respawned. And I spammed a little bit crazily, making everything in the area black to represent coal. Paths three wide using eight meter foundations on the sides and two meter on the top and bottom in the center and the space between the two meters interesting so they basically they build the floor up higher and they hide everything underneath it i kind of like that that's kind of cool i might have to look into that respawned again. I came up here and exterminated them another time. Do you mind? I'm driving here, buddy. Hello. I have never tried to get the explorer down from here before. Huh. So you could delete a row and put the two meter down, run your belt, and put the two meter on top to make it level and hide everything. Yeah, you've just given me some ideas. I think could help a lot. This is probably my best bet. It might be a little bit hopeless for this particular one, although this is the save where I'm planning on going. I've already started just the tiniest little bit, but I'm planning on basically building up the entire ring around this entire lake and building like massively vertical. So it'll end up being kind of an oval shaped, multi-story, multi-level platform all around it with all the machinery inside it and just continuous uh, conveyor belts carrying resources that I need so that I can branch them off wherever I need them. I figure either it will be a massive success and I'll be able to build everything that I could ever possibly need in the area around this lake, 
or it will be horribly overcomplicated and I will succeed in crashing the computer. Either way, I will count it as a win. Satisfactory PC crash speed run any percent. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> hey! You said it, Vikings. This is your fault. It's crashed again, so I have to wait for the Steam overlay to go away. I'll send in restart and we'll see what we can do. How's it going, Vikings? I'm not serious about it being your fault. Got woken up by work this morning even though you're on vacation. Ugh. See, that's when you start. Wait, is wow. I've, you know, looking at it from this vantage point, I've done a lot more with this area than I realized I had. Huh. I'm doing pretty good. Everything is satisfactory. We're just getting stuff set up for the uh, second coal generator here. No connection. Insert fuel. Oh, crap. Um, okay, well. There. Your power grids is shut down. Oh, good. Well, hang on then. That's got fuel. That's got fuel. I guess I can manually feed it some fuel. I'm sorry to hear that, Shark. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So now we can just leave these running. They should be pretty much infinite. Wait, do I already have coupons? I can't. I haven't bought anything yet, have I? Why is everything expensive? I mean, I guess, technically speaking, this is not actually expensive at all. It all pales in comparison to what everything costs at the other location. My other game. Okay, that's my biofuel. Let's 
what's in here? Nothing? Why do I have that sitting there then? It's just rough. I don't drive because of my anxiety. I've been in several accidents as a passenger, so I take Uber to work. And it's crazy what they're charging because it's a holiday in the States. Yeah, oof. I'm really sorry to hear about that. I mean, especially having to work on a holiday like that, that really sucks. Okay, so what are we creating here? We've got, okay, so this is the new iron plates. That's iron rods, that's perfect. Okay, so I do have two pumping out iron rods. Right, I was just, I remember, I was just getting geared up to use these industrial storage containers. Yep. Anxiety does really suck. We've got concrete over here. There's going to be crap tons of concrete over where we're going. And we had... Right, okay, okay. A lot of this is coming back to me. We were working on the copper area. What do we have down here? We've got... Okay, lots of wire. Well, not lots, but we've got some wire. And, oh, I didn't have to worry about this. I forgot we were making copper sheet. So, that'll be fine. If we need supplies of that stuff, we can come raid these. And that'll be fine. I have anxiety when I walk on some bridges. No issue driving over them or when I'm on the bus going over them, etc. Zero logic to it. And you used to walk over bridges all the time. Does it matter if they're big bridges or small bridges, or is it just any bridge? There are some bridges that I don't like driving over. If they're really, 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 really long, tall, like high up bridges, I don't like it. There's no logic to that either. But I don't like it at all. I can drive nervously if it's an hour where there's nobody on the roads, but in any situation with traffic, I physically tremble, which is dangerous with your foot on the pedal, so I stay away from the driver's seat. That's very responsible, Shark. That's something not a lot of people would do. Used to be certain ones, but it's gotten worse to pretty much any bridge. Wow, Vikings. I am very sorry to hear that. Okay, well... What do we need for... I guess I don't need to worry about fancy tier 2 power poles, which is just as well since I can't do them yet. Looks like we need concrete, we need rods, and we need wire. I don't actually need cable. Oh, but... It's the power line that needs the cable. Okay. And then we've got raw quartz over here. Well, I don't need this many screws, so... Oh. Oh. Wow, we've been making them a while, haven't we? I will keep a decent supply. I don't think I need all that raw copper. Just force yourself to walk over bridges. Sort of a face your fears thing. That could work. Oh, that's ore. Uh, I'm not sure where to actually store all this crap. 
What? Okay, I'm confused. Any idea what might cause that? That's got fuel. That's got fuel. There's no possible way these could have run out of fuel. Oh, it looks like... How did... Okay, obviously my feeding system for coal is not functioning. To which I can only say, what the heck. Oh! That looks like why. <laughs> it probably helps if the splitter is actually attached to the line that you're splitting. Have a good night, Shark. Good luck tomorrow. Well, we'll see. There's a vehicle bridge and a pedestrian overpass super near each other where I live, so I can just do a loop until I feel more comfortable or have a heart attack. Oh my god. Please don't have a heart attack. Oh, these are being fed at lift three levels. There. Okay. Damn it. It's working, right? I see lots of cold passing through here. Why is it not going there? Okay, hang on. Fixed this type of problem many times. No, I don't think that's the problem, Tagaro. I think you're right about it not being connected, but I saw the split happen. There's a gap in the line there. 
Except the line itself is not actually breaking. Okay, fine. We'll do this the easy way. Now it has no choice but to work. Once I position everything correctly. How's it going? Questionably sketchy. How are you doing? Hope all is well. That looks better. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I have heard Italy is wonderful. Hope you're having a good time. The City of Water. Oh, is that, um... Oh, what's the name of it? Venice. There we are, my first coupons. Oh, very nice. Venice seems really cool. Hmm. Never sure what to go for first. Ladders are pretty nice, though. Okay. So that's that. I'm not too worried about the rest of this, honestly. So I think what I might do is make a merger. an invalid shape. Sims 4's fake news is hilarious. Made me think of the Vice City talk radio stations that I loved. It features an alien attack and then the two news hosts start to kiss? What the heck, Aranar? When did they start doing fake news stuff? That sounds amazing. In the other stream, you asked about dumping extra stuff into the sink automatically. Do you want to know about it? Yes. Although that's actually more or less what I'm doing here. Uh, I've discovered that basically setting something like this up where these get fed faster than the belts leading out of them tends to do that automatically. But 
I'm sure there are better strategies and I'd love to know about them. It's on the TV, no clue when it was added. That's amazing. I love it. The city living thing added a political channel that has a debate that features a ghost, the llama mascot, a werewolf, and a few others. I love that they keep the previous iteration of the game alive by using them for their TV content and all that kind of stuff. How The Sims 3 had all The Sims 2 stuff going on on the television, and The Sims 4 has all The Sims 3 stuff. It's a nice little touch. I appreciate it. Okay, now this, I need another merger. And we're just gonna basically feed these things from a lot of this automated crap we've got going on here. Oh, interesting. I dropped a crate somewhere. Where was that? Oh god, that's way out there. I'm not going back there. Yikes. No. No, thank you. Okay, so that's basically everything except for copper being fed in directly. Um, I suppose... At this point... I just need to work on freeing up a little bit of inventory space so that I can use it all up again with all the stuff I need to make the power poles and lines. Oh, I am gonna need some of those actually. And likewise, I probably shouldn't dump all of the concrete. I need a few bags of that. Still not sure what to do about the copper ore. Maybe I'll just leave that in the box here. Mm, no. Okay. And I will take some extra copper wire because I'm going to need to make a significant amount of cable. There's a smart splitter where you can set the three outputs to split only specific items or to be set to overflow. I I have the ability to make the smart splitters in my other save. I did not know about the overflow setting. 
when it's set so that nothing will go out that side unless the other output backs up. So if you have, say, center going into storage and right going into the sink set to overflow when the storage fills, everything goes to the sink. Then as soon as you pull anything from storage, it stops going to the sink until storage is full again. I love that. Okay. That's going to transform the way I do stuff, and we may even eventually come back here once I have that ability. And fix this so that I can keep my storage and still have my sink de depot. I believe it's down the Mamcaterium tree. Yeah, it's something like that. It's been a while. I've had that for a long time now, but I've never tried building one. Now I feel silly for not doing it. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, because I haven't done much with Caterium here, because I don't actually have a Caterium mine. But that won't be a problem once we move over to the other start location, because there's Caterium right nearby. Okay, so what was I doing? I needed to make a load of cable. I was going to automate it, but it just seems like an awful lot of work I'm going to do nothing but leave behind. So I'll see about making maybe 500 or so. I can always come back and make more if I need to. Almost there. Just another hundred or so. How are things going, Aaron Lar, though? There we are. Okay. we doing now? Oh. Five coupons. I love these things. Ah, good. I'm glad to hear that. When Charter goes down... Hey, nice iron. The Smart Splitter is nice. Once you get the faster belts, you can dump multiple stuff onto one long, fast belt to go along a long way, and then filter the mixed belt into different storages. Yeah, that sounds really, really handy. Hey, Patriotic, how's it going? Okay... I guess all that's left then... I'm gonna have to disassemble the hub and the space elevator. I do have storage, that's good. Um. Oh, I'm not used to it taking that long. Oh, I might 
not have enough storage. <laughs> You're kidding me. Two coal power plants can't replace those two bio things? Wow. Oh, wait a minute. I completely overlooked the fact that I did have another. Hmm. Okay, I might have to take some stuff off then. Let's get rid of you. I'd like these to remain online. I don't think I need the copper to stay online, though. Those two lines. Um, don't need that one. Don't need that one. Oh, something's in the area. Let's give that a shot. Pretty satisfactory tonight, Patriotic. Pun entirely intended. So is there a power tier better than coal plants? I don't want to have to run three plants. Well, I, I do, but not here. Not yet. Oh boy, what have we got? I guess I probably don't really need the concrete that badly either. Tap the planet's core. Well, okay, sure. I I'm thinking more specifically in the game itself, though. Do you hear there's actually somebody planning on doing exactly that here on Earth in the real world? Tapping the planet's core, or at least drilling the deepest holes ever dug to provide power? Ugh. That's totally sane and will work. You're only saying that because nobody's done it before. <sighs> oh boy. Alright. Well. I don't need those. This isn't being used at the moment. You've just guaranteed that somebody's going to do it in the future. What's the specific effect of using the power 
things. Thingies. Uh, where, where are they? I have one, at least. I have a lot. The power shards in the generators. Because I know when you use them on other machines, it causes increased output at the cost of exponential power requirements. So, what's the downside of using them in the power generators? I can't use them in the power generators. I forgot that's an unlockable. Damn it. Hey, Mad. How's it going? It's one of those cases where I come up with the most implausible idea I can come up with and someone wants to actually try it. That doesn't mean it can't be done. It's literally what you said. It's geothermal energy. We've already dug some impossibly deep holes into the ground. Coal is 75 megawatts. Fuel is 150. Geothermal. Oh, you can actually do geothermal? From 100 to 600, depending on impure, normal, pure. Nuclear is 2,500. Oh my god. I need power generation. That's what I need. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'll disable the screw manufactory. That doesn't bode well for my ability to use the coal generation of power as a head start once I get set up at the other location, but at least we'll have all the coupons. Oh, I don't have space for the coupons. Um, hmm. What can I ditch? store that. I can come back for some stuff if I need to, after all. I'll keep the biofuel, because I'm going to need something for the hub when I get over there. All right. I guess we might as well get started on the move. I was going to try and do the the car thing first, the explorer, but that just doesn't really seem all that necessary. So we'll just follow this pow power line all the way out and use that as our starting point, laying out power all the way to the other start location. Oh, right, all these guys are back again. That's fun. Everything respawned on me. Do I not have power out to the other area? I could have sworn I had a Katerium mine. Maybe I never ran lines out to it. Yeah, I built... Wow, okay, so I, I built a ramp down to it. I've even got... You can see I've got the extractor there, but... I don't think I ever actually ran power to it. 
that's kind of unfortunate. Oh! Whoa! Might want to start a bingo card. How long will it be before I accidentally jump off a cliff? Keyword, accidentally. I just intentionally jumped off a cliff there. That was fine. This will serve multiple purposes. Not only does it get us closer to that other area. Oh, I actually... Ooh, don't jump there. Yikes. I don't want to connect that. Need to look here. Okay. Into the forest we go. I was going to see if I could bypass that and stick to the coast. The answer is no. Well, actually, it probably is yes, but... I can't do it easily enough to suit my preferences. lines and seawater, what could go wrong? Uh, one of these days I'll get around to it. It's... It's 
something I would like to see. It's just usually got other stuff on my mind. <laughs> Besides, I hardly ever actually look at them, so it doesn't matter that much. Exactly, Aranor. In fact, according to my studies of electricity, if we just drop live wires into the ocean, we should be able to drop more wires into the ocean at any other point to pick up the electricity and use the ocean itself as just one gigantic wire. What could possibly go wrong with that? I see no flaw with the logic. Okay, that there, that's Oil Island. So we are already back into familiar territory now. It said, hello, this is Paternal Figure. I am... Uh, oh, what's the exact quote? Basically, Paternal Figure is dying of uh, something from which there's no remedy. Doctors say the only... Or the, the doctors say the only remedy is alien artifacts. my ramp that I built here. It was so much easier to get around. Okay, this here is concrete. we had been on our way to get the crystal. Wow. It looks so weird without all my build-up.
the cure is more cowbell. That doesn't work to its particular... Yeah, its particular agenda, though, is the thing. Cowbell's not gonna help it. Getting you to harvest alien artifacts. That's what it needs. Okay, so... I've got wall outlets now. I've got all this. I need the hub. What do you mean I can't... Oh my god. Did... I... Oh. I deconstructed the hub and I left the hub components back at the other site. Great. I have space now, though. After laying all that cable. me, I ran cable right through the mountain. Oh, it's true. Do I actually know? I don't have the zipline tool. But honestly, that's okay, because I frankly find the zipline thing to be completely worthless. For all that you say, long wires to zip line along, they're really just not long enough to make it worthwhile, I think. I would want them to be much, much longer. At least if I'm going to try and use them as a kind of a fast travel system. It's great if you just want to go down from someplace high to someplace low without breaking your ankles. But if you're trying to actually travel, it's just not worth it. I only use it to go up down to the Kataria mine that is up the big cliff by the desert start instead of building a long ramp. That's not a bad idea, honestly. But I prefer to have the ramp. Then again, uh, you probably noticed when I was showing off my other save, I do like to ridiculously over-engineer everything. like foundationing a very significant proportion of the coast, like every bit of it basically from the lake all the way to Oil Island. So I might not be the, oh, nice, pure copper ore. Take that. Comply. No worries, Aranar.
I built another one through a mountain. What do you know? I thought I was being careful to avoid clipping. Oh, man, I keep looking for the, um, I keep looking for the, the landmark, the space elevator, and then I get real confused when suddenly it's not there. It's a good thing I've got the wires. so weird without the elevator here. Hey! What? Sean, what do you get up? Alright, fine. You can stay there, because this is not really a base I'm using at the moment, but even so, I've got my eye on you. Hub parts. There we go. I deconstructed it, J.H. I am packing up and I am moving. Coupons. Nice. I am... I, I've been playing my off-stream save for so long, J.H., that I'm just much, much, much more familiar with it than I am with this location. And one of the things that I really, really like about the other location over this one is the ridiculous abundance of materials that it has. I know where mine locations are. I know they're not very far away. There's water all over the place in the desert, ironically enough. Which is easy to access and in much greater abundance than the water available here. So all, overall, it's just... It seems like a much better start location in most respects. I think the main advantage that this area has over the other one is that... Your stuff like... Um, biomass is much easier to come by here. I mean, there's, honestly, there's no shortage of it in the desert either, but there's a lot more of it here. And so you struggle a little bit less in the very early game. But since I'm now at the point where I've got two functioning coal power plants back there and can set more up in the new location since I know where there's a plenty of coal, a lot more than there is around me here. That's not really a concern. And frankly, it wasn't much of a concern at the start either. When I started playing on the other map, I had no issue with the relative less uh, lesser amount of uh, biomass and stuff. That was not enough to cause me any real issue at all. So we're just going to base ourselves out of the desert instead of down here. I'm just leaving most of my stuff there 
because that can become a satellite base. I can go back there and I can use it whenever I need to. I can establish runs for materials. I can even build really fast conveyors if I need to to move stuff. I've got no shortage of power along the route now. I've got all these power lines strung up between the two. So there's already a direct connection. They're not disconnected spaces. So I get the best of both worlds, basically. Man, it's almost like he's annoyed at me or something. Yep, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get everything rebuilt and start paving the planet over that way and all, but it'll be worth it. It will be worth it. I know of a lot of stuff in the area that's really useful. There's a lot of hard drives in the area that'll take some getting, but it'll, you know, won't be too difficult to do. That was probably poorly placed. I don't think I should have built that on the rock. Eventually I'm gonna blow that rock up. I guess I'll have to relocate the thing. Yeah, like not only do we get all the resources I know about that way, there's a whole pile of copper and iron and concrete down that way, or limestone rather, down that way. So there's lots and lots of stuff. And then there's Caterium just across the lake, basically right up on those rocks over that way. So lots of stuff. And it's also comparatively easy to get to things like the, uh, the quartz that I need and their sulfur in that same area. So this is a really, really, really convenient spot. Okay. Now I should be able to build the hub.
Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Do I have... I don't think I have a chainsaw. <laughs> I don't have space for a chainsaw. Did I not leave myself storage? I can build storage of some sort, right? Yes. Need that first. The hub is your base of operations. It's where you build stuff, but it's also where you submit milestone things, so you basically can't progress without it. Oh. I did have a chainsaw. That was silly of me. Well, now I have a spare. <laughs> Dual wheeled chainsaws. I'm not sure that's going to work. It's kind of a shame, though, because that would be awesome. There's our copper. But you're not sure it won't work. That's true. Just hold them out and spin in a circle. It's like Link on steroids. I like it. If Garys ever become zombies, what do you mean? What, what are Garys? Or is that a follow three reference? Okay, so we got that. Actually have no way to redeem the coupons without going all the way back, so I'll just leave that there. That's a correctable problem. I can build the thing that you redeem them with.
Okay, so we're gonna start our foundation systems. Mm. Yeah, about like that. not bury the box of stuff. It's probably a bad idea. Oh, you're talking about Sean over there? There's a couple of them around. Apparently they're called land whales. Though if you look closely at them, as much as they do resemble land whales, they actually look even more like birds. Oh, a creature's in the way. Okay. Okay, now we can put down the hub. The hub will go maybe right there. Actually, let's, uh, I'm not gonna complete that just yet. I still have to reconstruct that space elevator. Oh, wow, I've already used up more iron plate than I should have. Okay. Flying mammals that had entered the water and then returned to the land. Quite possibly, Arnor. That would make sense. I love that you seem to be able to move things around easily. Yes, it's a 100% return if you deconstruct something you've built. So, by deconstructing the space elevator, I got every single material I used in its creation back again. You don't have to worry about losing crap. Yeah, it looks like I've actually got enough wire, maybe. Uh, oh, no, not quite, actually. So I need to keep that. I should have enough concrete, though. Yes. Steel. Oh, okay. I do need to take a run back. I didn't realize I was going to need steel pipe. I've got a few, but I don't have enough. And I'll probably just have to automate the creation of the rotors. It does, JH. 
it's a zero waste system. You deconstruct something, you get everything back that went into it. Actually, you know what? I don't feel like running all the way back and forth. I'd rather just get established here. I don't really desperately need advanced steel production right now. We can worry about that another time. We're going to get our mines up and running again. Start production of basic steel, copper, and concrete. And then we'll just build up from that point. Okay, so, got this here, you're no longer in the way. Oh, you're going to put yourself in the way, aren't you? We've still got the orange screen of death. Alright, well, uh, okay. So, we need... Minor Mark 1. Where? There we go. I'll redo it so it looks better, but for now, just connect that up. Sean looks a bit like roasted chicken, or maybe I'm just hungry. I think you might be just hungry. Okay, so this is doing... 120 per minute. Two smelters. Oh crap, I keep forgetting. I can't use the power thingies. That's a technical term, the power shards. I can't do them yet. I need to unlock that. That's so annoying. Ma'am, I need you back again. Thank you. Power slugs. Slug scanning. Yellow power shards. And overclock. Pro That's what I need. The analysis of overclock production is complete. Please choose a new node in a tree. Okay. Now, does this mean that I can overclock machines? Yes, it does. Look at that. Okay. So I can overclock to 200% and probably overload the power grid, which is way the hell back there. So that's going to be fun if I have to reset the tr uh, breakers. Although I guess I can just wire the hub in and then I can trip the breakers with this.
That doesn't seem to have broken anything. Oh, that's actually, that's not going to work. They're too close. Splitter. I don't think that's going to work. Actually, it might, but let's try it anyway. shape. Okay, these are clearly still too close. And that can definitely be positioned better. Oh no, they'll be back in my inventory. They don't let you lose things in this game. Not without a little effort anyway. If you fall off the edge of the world, as we discovered, you can lose things permanently. But short of that, you're probably okay. Yeah, exactly what Aranor just said. All bets are off if you do that. to Ford. Okay. Too steep. Rude. Oh, actually, um, cancel that. That's not gonna do. I just remembered these are just smelters and they're making raw ingots. We actually need something constructed out of them before that's gonna do us a lot. It's mostly plates that I need right now, so I'm just gonna set that up and then I'm gonna redo all this anyway because this is just to ease the return to active production so let's get us a constructor we want plates what have we got here estimating 60 per minute and another 60 per minute there I don't think we can crank this up to doing 120, so we're not going to get perfect efficiency here. But we can probably get at least 40 per minute. Mostly I'm waiting to see how much power draw is going to be too much and when 
it's going to crash the grid back at the other place. That didn't take long. Rogue Red, welcome on in. This game is called Satisfactory. We are on an alien planet, building a factory to send stuff up back up into space via a space elevator, which I have not yet reconstructed. I used to have it at a different site, but I'm getting relocated to a better start area. while I pave the planet here, or at least a significant chunk of it. That's actually a lie. It's not really a significant chunk of it at all. It's actually pretty tiny. Okay, that will do for a little bit. But why are we doing this? We don't know. There is a story to the game, but the developers have not included that story in the game so far. Right now, it's mostly just a crafting survival game with little hints of a story here and there, but we have no idea what the actual story is. Presumably, it has something to do with the alien artifacts that keep calling out to us. Uh, I think there's one that I can influence to make itself known. Hello? Out there? Okay, well... I know what will work. There we are. Hello? You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Harvest. 
first. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Yep, so it basically they try to convince you to harvest them until you do or until you go away. Whichever comes first. We can assume that has something to do with the story, but we don't actually know what yet. Actually, let me keep that. There. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, I guess... Technically speaking, I should have something to collect all these plates that we're manufacturing, shouldn't I? Again, this is temporary. I'm not going to leave it laid out like this. But just so that I have the basics done. Oh. I'm out of steel. That's unfortunate. do that. Hey, Bob. Have a good night. Then my explanation is what I go with until things change. I love it that in a game I so hate it when I have to move something one pixel in to lose some mess in the process. Yes. And they just send one dude to convert new planets into giant factories until there's nothing left? Well, I mean, I don't think I'm responsible for converting the entire factory. Or the entire planet. I'm just here to do my thing until... whatever. I mean, you know, we'll know obviously a whole lot better once we actually know what the story is. Until then, we just gotta keep playing. All right, so that's the very early beginnings of iron. Let's see about copper next. Okay, we'll get that set up there. Get a couple of smelters. And then... What am I going to need made out of copper? 
I guess actually what I'll do... I really would like to have cable automated. So I'll get a couple of smelters. Probably won't overclock these because... Honestly, I might turn that off on the iron as well. It's... I really don't need it. And it's putting too much strain on our, the power system. whatever speed they run at, it's fine. I can always overclock them later. That's not going to be a problem. Um. So we've got the mine, and we've got a couple more smelters. Now I'm thinking three constructors. Again, not really going for optimal efficiency here. We're just going to come out this way. So these are copper. This is going to be wire. This is going to be sheet. And this is going to be relocated because I just realized that's actually this is going to be sheet. Sheet. Not some other word that I'm not saying. It's going to be wire and... Up here. We'll make cable out of wire that comes out of here. So we'll store some of it and we'll turn some of it into cable. Almost makes it look like this game can be VR compatible. It wouldn't surprise me if they are designing it with that in mind, but I've seen no indication of it. But then again, I'm also not really... I'm not really looking for it because I don't have a VR rig. So I don't know if that's what they intend. to do the layout shuffle. Oh, crap. Out of fuel. 
I might be slightly late for a break now that you mention it, Aranar. It occurs to me that I have not taken one yet tonight. Okay, that's probably a good idea. So I will camp out here, save the game, and come back in just a few minutes. Hey, Mr. Soggy Roman. All right, folks, I need to take a quick break, so if you will bear with me, I'm going to get up and move around a little bit. I usually take no more than three and a half to five minutes or so, so if you need to get up, get some food, grab a drink, grab a snack, what do whatever you got to do. This is a really good opportunity. I'll meet you back here in a few. Chances folly. There's potions on the shelf here. That's excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Out of the way, mission. There we go. Uh oh. Um, let's transmit this before I. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's a good thing I wasn't planning on taking off. Uh. Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap. How am I not? So we're on the Barbary Coast, apparently. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye. And if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? Well, that happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! I can't believe I killed it. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. This room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. If it's not obvious by now, the only thing keeping this a park and not a prehistoric hunting ground are the fences. Let's see what we can do to improve them.
So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out fast. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash is us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that! Watch your flanks! So that's how you wanna play it! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. I guess those are the quote-unquote dead Ewoks. Yara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equals three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying mass of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Oh. You didn't see me do that? I didn't do that? You can't prove a thing. How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider-Man 1, Robbers 0. Okay, this is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have, um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So, I don't know, we'll see. Watch out for that. <sighs> Nominal. Oh, and look at... Okay, I'm back. Let's get back into it. Thank you, J.H. Oh, it looks so weird around here.
Oh, it's a good thing I've got plate production working. That actually is another good point, though. I'm starting to dig pretty deep into my stores of concrete by the looks of it, so I'm going to need to get that set up, too. Sean! <sighs> Do you mind? Bounce on him? What do you mean? I guess I built my uh, my foundations higher up than I did in my other game. It seems to be too high to allow me to place the concrete miner. Sean is bouncy. I seem to have missed my opportunity. I don't know where Sean's off to. Unless he's really, really fast and that's him, but I think that's a different one. Oh, you're over there. Okay, well... No such luck right now. I think I'm gonna have to disassemble this so that I can build one over the other way. That should be low enough. <clears throat> hey, Granny, how's it going? Please get all viewers and patrons into welcome shelters immediately. Library cards are available for distribution. Tony O Twitch, it's good to see you again. How are you doing this evening? How was your stream? What was going on? Tell me all about it. 
Folks, make sure you go follow Tony Twitch. He's an awesome streamer here on Twitch. I'd love to hear all about what you were up to this evening. Thank you for bringing your community over. Tis been a day. Yeah, Greeny, I can imagine. Oh, is it a pub crawl night? That is so awesome, Tony. How is it going? What's going on? What were you up to? Oh, thank you, Greeny. Uh, oh, Final Fantasy VI. I just last night finished my first ever playthrough of Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. Six is on the agenda. I just have to get through five before I can get to that one. So that's really, really cool. What did you think of it? How did it go? I'd love to hear all the things, except for maybe, you know, I could do without the spoilers. <laughs> but other than that, Final Fantasy VI, making my way through all the mainline Final Fantasies. Oh, man, that's, a, that's, that's, that's ambitious. I'm not committing to doing all of them. I'm going to do one through six. I've already played one through four. Uh, I'm doing the Pixel Remaster series. Then I'm going to do seven, except I'm not going to do the original. I'm going to go through the remake version. And so I want to wait a while on that one. Um, in the meantime, I may skip ahead and do like eight, nine, and maybe replay some of the later ones in the series as well. You've never finished six yourself. Very nice. I had of the of the early ones, the uh, you know the the pixel art style ones prior to seven. I had only ever finished Final Fantasy one, and I had played little tiny bits of Final Fantasy three and four, and that's it. I'd never touched two, and I have never touched five or six so far. Those pixel remasters are gorgeous. Your fave is five, and it was spectacular. Yeah, Greeny played through five. Yeah, you you played through five. I've seen bits of it when Greeny's been streaming it, and it does look fantastic. That one's next up on the Final Fantasy stuff, but um, as far as retro games go, I'm taking a little bit of a break from Final Fantasy since I just finished four. We will be getting back to it because I'm not, you know, it's not that I'm sick of them or anything. But I have a lot of retro games I want to go through. I just finished four. I just finished Knights of the Old Republic. And I think I've pretty much come to the conclusion that because I'm taking some time off this month, I don't want to immediately start playing a new retro game. So I'm going to go back to one that I don't think I've really touched since 2018. I do have an ongoing playthrough, technically. You can still call it ongoing like five years later, right, of um, Baldur's Gate 2, specifically, like, I actually finished Baldur's Gate 2, but I still have thrown a ball, the expansion for Baldur's Gate 2, that I have not finished. So when we do Retro Sunday this week, that's what I'm going to be playing. So that's going to be kind of fun. We'll see if that ends up going back into rotation or not. It very well might. You never know. We'll see how it ends up going. And then uh, once we do that, once I take my break, once I get back, there's been a lot of interest in the community at seeing me do a little Sierra gaming. So I might be starting either Quest for Glory 1 or Space Quest 1. Not sure yet. We'll have to see where things land. You know, I've been chomping at the bit for that nice greenie. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm going to do it this week because it seems like the best idea. I don't have any other retro games on the go. The whole playing retro games thing that's too new to the channel. I don't have a backlog of ones that I haven't finished. So that's the closest I can come up with. It's great to change it up. Yeah, yeah. I've really been enjoying it. I've designated Sundays as Retro Sunday. So I, every Sunday I play retro games and it, I've really, really been into it. It's really been fun. But anyway... You came in with a raid. Thank you so much for that. That's really, really awesome. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you folks in properly, so hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Oh. 
Oh my god. Whoa. Hey. I have not I have not looted that, sir. go that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts yeah i like that clip that's a good one so we're doing some satisfactory tonight i'm just trying to get set up in a brand new save uh start location it's not a brand new game i actually moved like m most of my infrastructure at the original start location is still intact i only disassembled a little bit of it Kind of wondering if I should maybe standardize on this height. Might work better. Right. I was running back because I needed fuel for the, uh, what do you call it? The thingy. That thing. The chainsaw. Right. I do have inventory space, good. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a bit of solid biofuel by hand. I don't like doing it by hand, it's very slow, but that's okay. This would be most satisfactory. Only for twisted definitions of the word satisfactory, I think. Oh, I should actually, hang on. We will do that in just a moment, okay. Just want to make sure we're not running out of fuel too quickly. Okay, here we are. Why did the banker have to quit his job? He lost interest. There you go. I'm very, very sorry about that. Some would say that joke is proof that he doesn't exist, Ansara. That too. That's also true. Okay. I think before I get too deep into paving over everything, I am indeed going to standardize on this height level. 
It's probably closer to what I've got on the other setup. And it seems to work. Although, actually, now that I think about it, <coughs> I'm just thinking about what we were talking about earlier, Tagarong. Leaving space underneath. If I were going to do that, this would be the time to do it. So what were the dimensions you were talking about? Yeah. Let's see if we can experimentally figure it out. So you need room basically for conveyor poles. And belts to run underneath the floor. And you want to be able to build on top. So that looks like it should definitely leave enough room. I mean, hell, I can run around under here. You can build on top of roofs. Yes, you can, but I do not have roofs yet. So I actually, me specifically at the moment, cannot. Of course, the only problem with that is you have to build a little bit higher up. Not necessarily this high, but you have to build somewhat higher up. And that means these are not going to be flush with the ground anymore, but that might not be the biggest problem ever. Yeah, I've only just started getting the fix-it coupon stuff, Mr. Soggy Ramen, so there's a lot of stuff I don't have access to yet. I think I've got... Oh. They're all back in storage over here. I've probably only got, like, five coupons. At most, maybe three.
I've got five. Now, if I run back to the other place, I've got some that I could get, or I could, you know, I could build the shop here. I actually have the materials for it. Oh, actually, that doesn't let me get more, though. Can I build the sink? Oh, I can build the sink. Oh, except it needs power. Um, okay, so I've got four more coupons I can print. I've never had so many coupons all at once. The height of assemblers and constructors are three foundations. Okay. These are super handy. Okay, so we'll get those. I left a bunch of stuff accumulating points, so I'll keep getting coupons as time goes on. I can just build the thing and pick up the coupons so I can get stuff. But of course, the more coupons you get, the more expensive they become, so that's going to slow down pretty fast. Okay, so will that work if I were to do, let me see. Kinda looks like it might work. I wouldn't be able to run through that. But that looks like there's enough clearance for stuff to run. Power and... Oh, I actually can. It's just a little claustrophobic.
That's interesting. That would save a bit of space. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff you can dispose of via the sink, especially if you just don't need as much of it. Let me give you a really quick look at my other saves so you know where I'm at and what's spoilery and what's not. Assuming the game loads successfully. I've had it crash a few times tonight while loading the other save. Like, either save. It seems to be happier if I quit completely and then load a different area. Okay. So I'm a little more advanced. This is the same start location. This is the uh, desert start. I've got some oil and plastic going on. I've got some concrete going on. I've got crystal stuff going on up there. Most of it's being dumped directly into the coupons. Apparently, Greeny. Apparently. Only thing is, I have no idea where I am in that game right now. I remember that I had gotten to Watcher's Keep. I do not remember that I was actually physically located in it when I last played. I do actually remember saying, okay, we're going to screw off and do something else instead, and then I left Watcher's Keep, but it is entirely possible that I went back, but there is absolutely no guarantee that that's where I actually am. Okay, so let's see. It's probably more useful if I show you my milestone progress and maybe the MAM stuff. So I'm working on alternative fluid transport. I have done oil processing. I have not done industrial manufacturing, although I have completed part of that one, I believe. And I have not done the gas mask yet. I haven't started six, although I did notice monorail train technology and pipeline engineering too, and jetpack, and expand. Oh, expanded power infrastructure. Oh, wow, fuel generator. Okay, I have a little bit of fuel that I've already made. You can scan for Caterium ore. It takes you that long to be able to freaking scan for Caterium. I've been using Katerium for eons. What the heck? Conveyor belt four. 480 resources a minute. Damn. Conveyor lift four. Wow. Okay. I have a lot of good stuff coming up. Got it, Mr. Soggy Roman. No, you absolutely finished the second level of the keep. I do know that. Are we sure we are into Throne of Ball? Watcher's Keep is part of it all. I haven't played since 2018 or 2019 or something, Greeny, so I really have no clue. We will find out when I play. Don't know. Not a clue. We'll find out when we play. I do know that I finished Baldur's Gate 2, though. It's only thrown a ball that I have not done. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, yes. I did do that, Greeny. I wouldn't worry too much about it until Sunday. We can concern ourselves with all that at that point. I won't even be thinking about it until Sunday. Oop, whoops. Oop, nope, I thought I double placed it. Actually, it might be easier. Okay, so if I... Because Baldur's Gate is Baldur's Gate. That's fair. trying to decide how I want to do this. I like the idea of leaving space for cable runs and conveyor runs and all. Mm. Okay, well, let's get rid of this. That's not entirely true. You do go back to Baldur's Gate for a brief scene in one of the other games. I don't remember it. That might have been Siege of Dragonspear, actually. Siege of Dragonspear? No. That's its own game. I mean, I get, I suppose technically they implemented it as a, an expansion to one. Sort of. So in a sense, yeah. So what are we doing here? Limestone, 60 per minute. Is that actually... Did I... I didn't power that. Okay. I don't need to power that now. Baldur's Gate 2 takes place in an entire different country. That's true, but it's not that far away. I guess... to do a little experimentation here.
I'm not sure how viable this is going to be. Especially with you sitting there. Yeah, this is going to add... If I, if I try to build in room for runs underneath, that's really going to raise the floor level. Which, I guess, is not really a problem. Doesn't really matter where you build. It is something I kind of have to decide now before I build too much. What do you guys think? This floor here, everything we've done here, that's all going to move to whatever our new level is. I'm not too concerned about preserving this. But I would like to decide on what I'm doing before I go too far with building anything specific. Oh, another nice thing about this area, I hadn't even thought of until just right now, is we have a massive cave that's full of evil stuff, but it's also full of mycelium. Which is, you know, maybe a little less impressive right now since I've already got coal power running back in the other place, but even so, this is a heck of a cave. It's got lots of these guys in it, which is kind of annoying. And there are also spider thingies in it. Can you make pneumatic tubes yet? Not in this save, no. In my other one, I can. But this is a crapload of mycelium that you can use to do all kinds of stuff. Including, maybe not unlimited biofuel, but a ton of biofuel if you want it. Or maybe fabric. And then there's also a crash site right up there. Which is pretty super handy. I somehow never realized there was a chunk of uranium right there. <laughs> really, Greeny? Because... Let me get back to my base, and I'll show you what my experience has been like so far. right you stay back there it has to be designed well and safely I I designed mine safely I can't say I designed it well though
Basically, I used it to get from this area all the way to Oil Island without significantly changing the elevation of the pipeline, which means it has to hug the coast. And I think the game just died. That's okay. I'll get it launched in just a moment again. Oh, I'm going to have to modify mine. I just remembered I don't have a decent entrance to it here. That's okay, though. Let's see. Oh, I can't afford it. Okay, never mind. We'll do it the cheap way. I'll drive to the other end where I do have an entrance. You don't need an exit. You just need one end. It just means if you only have one entrance, it's a single direction transit system. You can't use it to get back again. This is the rough path that it takes. It follows the oil. That was the point. It wasn't to keep the uh, the hyper tube from changing elevations. It was to keep the oil tube from changing elevations. I didn't want to have to mess too much with pumps to counteract gravity and all. And then. It was after that that I got the hypertube technology and I just decided, well, I've already got the pipe layout, I might as well just stack it. And so I did. And so now the hypertube follows the same path that the oil does. Excuse me one moment. These guys are begging for it. Ow. Rude. Oh, I actually used to be able to return. It's just I, I started building up my oil industry and that impacted. I, I didn't need the oil tube to be quite as long because 
I was building all the processors and all that kind of stuff, and so I deleted parts of it, and then I also deleted parts of the tube. And it just so happens that I also deleted the entrance at the other end. I used to have one. And I haven't rebuilt it, and apparently I've used enough materials that I can't rebuild it without grabbing a few things. So, just as a quick example, that's all we're really doing here. The thing is... I find if I try to keep the camera roughly in line with the direction that I'm traveling in, I actually manage to get a little bit motion sick. I am not at all prone to getting motion sick in video games. That's not an issue for me, but this can actually do it. I love the speed and just the general concept of the mode of travel, but it's not the best for my stomach. I find it, though, it's a lot easier if I just take my hand off the mouse and let me, you know, travel my way without interference. It's a lot less harsh on me, but, uh, yeah, I have to be a little bit careful. Are there other camera angles? I haven't even looked to see if there might be or not. But yeah, there we go. So I'm not going to bother saving. We're just going to load up again. We'll see if the game loads up successfully or if I have to restart it again. It's being temperamental tonight. Okay, it looks good. So yeah, I do really like the hypertube thing in some ways, not quite so much in others. I'm not sure that would help. That might actually make it worse. That's what my gut instinct tells me, so to speak. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, shoot. I have, like, no concrete. <laughs> I guess that's another issue. Um... I'm going to have... How much inventory space do I have? Not a lot. I think I'm not going to successfully get this set up before I get that running, so I'm going to probably have to run back to the other site. Less angle changing, just like behind Superman following along with the camera moving as such, if that makes sense. I would have to see it. It's possible that would help, but I don't know for sure. Okay, let's stash all of that. I don't need those. Actually, this. Let me just get rid of that. That'll do. That gives me tons of space. I'm just going to bring back a whole mess of concrete. And maybe a few other materials like steel would probably be good. Here's where I miss having access to the car. We're going to have to finish that one soon. I want an explorer. Or at least a truck. Like the tractor. I'm not sure I would want to make this particular trip in the tractor. But even that would be better than having to make it on foot a lot.
Okay, so... Nice thing is, because I moved locations to the other start area and ran power as I did, when we do have to do Oil Island over there, it's going to be easy to get everything powered up. So that's going to be fun. Nope. I never think about it, Mr. Soggy Ramen. It is pretty easy. But it's... It's just not a set of finger motions I'm used to making, and so the chances that I'm going to make use of it on a regular basis are basically zero. Oh, ow. Rude. I forgot about those guys. And I don't have my uh, shatter rebar gun in this playthrough. I don't have actually any kind of rebar gun in this one, actually, now that I think about it. I need to get that, too. So it's a little more risky taunting these things. But I can't help myself. Take that. Caterium. That'll be priority number four is Caterium. I need to get iron going, which I've already mostly done. I need to get copper going, which I've kind of done. I need to get concrete going, which is, if I'm going to do this much ridiculous paving, that has to happen pretty quickly. And then after that, I can work on Caterium and Quartz and coal. Not necessarily in that order. Probably coal sooner rather than later. I was hoping that establishing a connection back to two running coal power plants was going to give me an advantage on power generation. Only it turns out I had a lot more running than I thought I did. And the two power plants, they're actually already pretty close to capacity. And by close to capacity, I mean when you take the stuff that I built at the new site and the stuff I left at the old site, add it all together, I actually need the uh, biofuel reactors on the, uh, on the hub to make it all work. So in a way, they're already over capacity. Uh, 
But pretty quickly, I should be able to, or relatively quickly anyway, I should be able to get more coal power plants online. As soon as I get up the hill to that area that I used in my other playthrough. And that's going to let me get some stuff set up fairly quickly. I'll also be able to turn more of this stuff back on again. I have to turn some off. Oh, do I not? Wow. I don't have anything left, I don't think. Oh, did I? I shut this off. Crap. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, all right, we may have to... Yeah, I think... Alright, it looks like we might be running back and forth between the sites more than I expected. Oh, I've got all this stuff here too. Wow, all that time and only one coupon? Okay. Now it's this stuff that I need, so let's get this powered on. Oh, I... Oh, right. I turned it all off by disconnecting the power. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, crap, right. I have no hub here. Uh, I hope I can build... Yes. No. Wow. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. This is the best. There we go. I can reconnect that later if I want to, but for now we need that making some stuff. So, what to do in the meantime? I was gonna... I probably don't have any steel either. Oh, actually... 
Never mind. Oh, no, I did route it over. But, ah, okay. We're fine on the steel front. I've got plenty of ingots, even if I have to craft it into stuff. I've recently unlocked the switches that allow you to cut off power to specific lines. I may need to build a transfer station to control factories. Yeah, I've, I've got some of that in my other playthrough as well. I can't control... Like, I, I can't control these lines, the conveyor belts. But I've got things like light switches and power switches. I haven't actually tried using them, but I have them. Okay, let's turn you off again. I've got that. You're off, you're off. I guess I should probably look around at some of the stuff that I've got. I'll take a couple of stacks of that. Lots of ore, which I don't need anymore. Screws for a lifetime. Oh no, wait, actually that's the one that's feeding the steel. I would like that to keep going. Is there anything else in this area that we need to explore? It's mostly void down here, it looks like. I know it's possible to explore that by building out into it, but I'm not feeling that confident about my building abilities. This was my... oh. Maybe I should take that. That's useful. I'm relocating with time.
I've turned most of this area off. The few things that aren't turned off are feeding the awesome sinks. And I'm moving to the other start, well, uh, the other beginner start location in the desert. Very needed a few times, yeah. Okay, well, it's going to take a while for the concrete to re-add up, I suppose, so I might as well head back. Ah, uh, there is. I've come to know the desert start location much better than this one, and I like it a lot more. I know where lots and lots and lots of useful stuff is. And the best thing is that I can leave most of that site there intact. When I broke stuff down, I didn't, in most cases at least, I didn't break it down. I just shut it down and disconnected power and stuff. Which means I can make excursions back out there like this. So that I can come back and get stuff. And, you know, basically it's become a satellite location instead of the primary. I also strung power between the two. I have two coal plants running at the original start location. I thought that would help. It turns out I've actually got enough running back there that uh, if you take the stuff that I left along with the stuff that I've built new, I had to uh, I had to hook up the hub's bioreactors to have enough power to run it all, even with the two coal plants. That's why I built 17 to 32 last time I saw you play. Well, I don't have the resources or the coal for 17 to 32 more coal plants, unfortunately. But I also don't need that level of power just yet. Even in my other playthrough, which is a lot more advanced than this one, I'm making do just fine with only six coal power plants. Everyone plays in the same world, so by default, anything I have, you can get. Yep, that's true enough. That's true enough. 
Oh, I'm sure I will eventually with Ty. Even in my other save, like, uh, I'm starting to play with things like the hyper transport tubes, whatever they were called. I think they're just hyper tubes. So I've got those. I've only built two. Although one of them goes from the desert start location to this island here. So that's actually a reasonable distance. Especially when you consider that it doesn't travel in the straightest line possible. I followed the path of my oil pipeline, which I kept dead level. So I have the entire coast between that island and here. All done with... Um, all done with foundations. And the pipeline is just absolute dead flat. Which means it has to follow the curve of the coast in most places. There was one spot that was low enough that I was able to cut across. So it basically hugs the coast going around every bend and turn until not here this was too high there's a little further up here yeah I think it was right about here is low enough that I was able to do it And then it just follows the river into where I was working on oil refineries and stuff on the lake shore. So right now, what I'm trying to work on, aside from getting my concrete back under production so that I can properly do my uh, foundations everywhere, is actually trying to figure out what to do about foundations. I might settle on this as my build height, because we were discussing in chat the possibility of doing walk under spaces where I can have, uh, you know, I, I can basically have conveyor and power runs underneath the floors so that things look a little bit nicer. Okay, so... Where is Constructor? I need reinforced iron plate. We approach certain things very differently. How so? Also, what's the key to turn on and off the flashlight? I didn't even realize for the longest time this game had one. You bring oil to you, I bring industry to oil, then bring needed products to me. I I I admit I do kind of like to centralize. Oh, jeez. Have I ever mentioned that I have a little bit of a blind spot in the lower right corner of games? I'm pretty sure that's come up before. For whatever reason, I just rarely think to look.
He gets to be background. Yep. Okay, so let's see. And quick search. What the heck? Neat. Okay, that's handy. What? Oh, I like this. I guess B doesn't work yet. Map is that. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay, a lot of them I had figured out or remembered. That's super handy, though. I need reinforced iron plates, right? So I need iron plates. That's not a problem. We got those coming up. for now, I think. I just gotta get the basics of the concrete up. I don't necessarily need it to be all the concrete ever right away. Although, with the way I like to do foundations, that's gonna be... There's gonna be a lot of concrete. There's a dice tag for streams? Seriously? That's kind of amazing. So I guess that's going to be a permanent fixture of your channel now then, Greeny. Okay, so this we need to build concrete.
<laughs> I wonder who might use that one from time to time. I guess they're aware there are a few people out there. You know, every once in a while, just now and then, there are people that actually like using dice once a bit, every now and then. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. Then my plan for a second camera on a dice tower. Wow. That, you're taking that pretty seriously. I actually kind of like that. That's a neat idea. Okay. Um... So that gave me... What did that give me? I've got 25 iron rods. I think that's what I need to work on next. Oh, I do need to get steel. Hmm. The second camera would be helpful for cooking and stuff. Yes, it would. Yes, it most certainly would. That's why I've got the second camera for the Lego stuff. I really want to do another Lego series soon. We've got enough of these at this point. Uh, okay, I've got... I need a few more storages. Hang on. Let's... I've got steel ingots. Let's make some of these. It's not too bad to do manually. Do about 50 of those, and then the rest will turn into pipe. Well, maybe not the rest. I'll just make a bunch of pipes as well. for now. Okay, now let's hope I can power this.
Okay, so that'll get things going on concrete. I'll let that do its thing, and in the meantime, I'll see about getting iron rods going. Because clearly I'm going to need those too. Already have dice redeemed, so why not use the second camera? Yep. No, I actually really love the idea of having a camera for the, um, for the dice tower thing. Hell, I just love the idea of having a dice tower, period. That's a great idea. I've seen them before, and I always thought they looked kind of cool. Maybe one day. So we come out of the smelter into the constructor. I'm going to eventually have to tear all this apart anyway. I'm not too, too worried about the placement issues. As long as it works. go. Oh, that one's full. Um, okay. Oh. That's one of the things I need concrete for. That's fun. That's what Greeny's planning, apparently, J.H., and I think it's an awesome idea. There. Okay. So we got concrete going. We've got the basics of iron going. Still need to worry about copper and... Ooh. Getting that coal. I'm not too concerned about the possibility of... You know, getting the coal all set up and all that. I've got the materials to do steel, so... Actually building the coal generator, that's not a big deal. Oh, I don't even need steel for that. It's more the animals up there. Let's maybe take a look at our MAM and see what I should be focused on to get my weaponry improved. I can work on the rest as I need to. So Shatter Rebar would be real nice. I need 150 regular rebar, and I need 30 quartz crystals. That's gonna be the trick. 130 quartz crystals. Or, sorry, 30, not 130. So I'll probably hold off on that until I'm ready to run lines all the way out to the quartz thing.
Inflated pocket dimension. Need a thousand cable. Ah, the rebar gun. Okay, so I need 50 reinforced plates, 500 screws. I can run back for those, and 25 rotors. I know what time. The thing is, though, they're really, really useful for eliminating the yoke plants, my arch nemesis, in one shot. So I actually really like it. So today I had to deal with, in order, a parade, a golf tournament, a charity fish fry, a lot of business because of the next thing, a fireworks display. Left work 2.5 hours later than normal for a Monday. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that, Greeny. That sounds kind of rough. Maybe I'll do a little running around and see what I can find. I know there's a few resources in the area that you can just kind of pick up. I think right in here there's Caterium. is actually fitting because there's also a Caterium mine right up here, which is a little bit dangerous to go to, and I would technically need to actually path my way up there. Let's foundation it. See if I can make it work. I think I have enough concrete to do it. But right there, there's a Kateria mine, and there's also a bunch of the yoke plants. Now, I can't remember if I've already gotten this hard drive or not. Ah, I have not picked up the crap around it, so I'm thinking probably not. Oof. Well, that's one way to make a quick escape. Megawatts of power. Alright. So I'll have to do that soon. Actually, I wonder. Never mind the soon. At least the flies are simpler to kill before they each took two hits. Yeah, I heard about that, that they changed the way it all works there.
Okay, ma'am. Let's scan that. See what we get. Now, as far as copper goes, probably want to relocate this. Actually, that's in a really terrible spot, too. Splitter on this. Oh. I already had a splitter on this. Never mind. Then why the heck are these so far forward? Oh. Uh, they're far forward because smelter. That's why. This doing wire and that doing cable and that doing sheet. More upset about the whole third Monday in a row cancellation thing. At least, uh... Yeah, I'm curious about that too, Greeny. What was cancelled three weeks in a row? Was it somebody cancelling work? And just leaving you short? I say just. I don't actually mean just, because, I mean, that's kind of garbage, but you know what I mean. Okay, I think at this point, mm -hmm. I'm not even going to worry about the space elevator just now. We'll build that again later. For now, I'm a lot more interested in this production. I want a miner, so I need concrete. And... I want a water extractor. And I want one more coal generator. I say one more, it's going to end up being a lot more than that, but. And what the heck, we'll do power storage too. So I've got most of what I need. It's mostly rotors and reinforced iron plating I need. Unless there's more to it. There's more to it. I need rotors, I need stators, I need modular frames, and I need cable. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, got it, Greeny. Yeah. Don't... I, I know this is much easier said than done, so please forgive me for saying it, but try not to beat yourself up about needing time off for yourself. Everybody does every once in a while, and if you don't, you're just headed for Burnout City. It's not a pretty sight, trust me. I've been there a few times. You don't want to do that to yourself. Hey, Bill Zerb, how's it going? Okay, so that's the cable we need. Modular frame. Okay, so I need more reinforced iron plates, which means screws, which means, wow, it's a good thing I got the iron rod production up and running. <laughs> Just getting out of work later than usual for a few weeks is annoying. Yeah, no, I don't blame you at all for that. That would piss me off, too. We can make 30 reinforced plates. 33, actually. Um, hmm. I'll make all that I can, because we're going to need more for some of the other components. I'm doing pretty good, Bill. I hope you're doing well. I Well, you just said you are, so I guess that takes care of that. But yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to relocate my main base of operations in this game, so that's fun. So, 10 modular frames. Uh, okay. I don't seem to be able to build stators. I can build rotors. Rotors are no problem. Why can I not build stators? Am I missing something? I just picked up some Caterium, didn't I? Raw ore. I can't even work on that yet. What the heck? Oh, I need more of it. That's why. Okay. Shoot. Is it maybe... I wonder if there's something else here. Xeno Basher. Oh, I think this is the good one that I really like. Oh. 
cheap silica. Three quartz and five concrete. Oh, you know what? That might actually be worth it because this area has a ridiculous abundance of concrete. Like, seriously ridiculous. That might be really, really good. Crystal beacon. Beacons are going to be removed from the game, so that's probably not my best play. Wet concrete. I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that for quite some time, so I think cheap silica might be the way to go. Not that I have heavy use of silica just yet, even in my other game. But none of the others look much better. Oh boy, okay. Right, I was trying to figure out Hyper tubes, that doesn't do it. No, I... I've done three. Oh, shoot. I don't... Oh, God, I can't make stators until I get advanced steel production finished. Hoo, boy. Okay. That means we have to run back up, because I've got plenty of copper up there that I can use. And I've got more than enough steel to make the pipes that I need. I just need to store some stuff. Actually... I'm gonna... Oh, oh my god. I've taken one break tonight and it's already almost stream end. Um, I am gonna play a little bit late tonight. So if you will bear with me, let me just save the game. I'm gonna, even though it's a little bit late in the evening, I'm gonna take another break. And I'll be back in a few minutes. This is the worst night for breaks I've ever had. If you guys need to get up and get a drink or a snack or whatever, uh, this is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. Now I'm going to put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh, wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, that is... Uh... That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? There we go. Oop. I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel. But with altitude. Got it. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. There you go. But I, I'm still kind of tempted to play them.
Okay. <laughs> that was <laughs> wow good job the stories say he sought to claim is someone there <laughs> what the hell fine <laughs> oh, right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tony Pudu. Rana no prata don't know. Sarcha. It's you a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Frost salts. Wow, that was easy. Oh. And, yeah. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. Okay, I'm back. There we go. We need the game. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, JH. Hmm. Okay. I was going to run back and I was going to get some of the stuff that I need. Thank you, Greeny. So basically, I need the stuff that I need to finish advanced steel production. So much for the idea that I didn't really need that stuff.
take that. What's this? That's nothing. Okay. screwed that one up a little bit. Keep hoping I'm gonna come across resource veins. Or not not the veins, but you know, deposits of just a small amount of a thing. Like that, except not necessarily iron. So I don't really need the iron. Did I misplace my power lines at? Oh, wait. I didn't come up here to do them, didn't I? They're further down. Right. There they are. Coal. Don't need that. What I'd really love is sulfur. And Caterium and Quartz. <laughs> oh, oh, that might be one of those. I think that might be Sulfur. Nope. Limestone. Damn it. Ooh, hang on. I'll take that. Sorry, John. It's this iron, iron. That's copper. stone.
Okay, so... Oh, I might have a reasonable amount of concrete here now, too. That's pretty good. <laughs> wow! Only one printable coupon. Okay, two, technically. Well, that's okay. Two. Whoa! Sean just took took off in a hurry. Oh, he must have wandered into the gas cloud. Whoops. <laughs> well, now I know where to get some uranium. Though I know of another location that I think is even closer to the new main base. Limestone again. Is that iron? Yeah. Hello? Okay, now what is that? Oh, oh, okay. I've actually been there in my other playthrough. That's a crash site. It just looked like there was something shining there, but I think it's actually just uh, maybe a slightly reflective object, but it is brightly colored more than it's actually shining.
Ah, <laughs> jerks. Okay, at least I found some sulfur. That's a good thing. Even if it hurt a little. Oh, oh what's this? Bauxite. Bauxite? I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. Since when is there bauxite? Okay, hang on. I have to mark this, even if it's not a vein. What do you use bauxite for? And when the heck does that become a thing that you actually need? Oh, for aluminum. Okay. Interesting. I would know we have a mine near us in real life. Freight trains full of the stuff pass every 15 minutes. Oof. That sounds kind of rough. Okay, we're just about back and hopefully in a good position to complete advanced steel production since that's what I need to build another coal generator. And get that industry off the ground in the new location. This is such a mess. Wow. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm not exactly cranking the uh, concrete out at record speeds, but at least it's there. I can improve on it. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, I guess I didn't need to run back for the copper wire. I've already got that, but that's okay. Oh, I had lots of copper wire. Wow. All right. some more storage by the looks of it.
Okay, so I need... Uh, what do I need? I need 200 pipes and I need 200 rotors. 220 rotors, actually. For the rotors... Screws and iron rods. Okay, we'll work on the pipes first. Iron rods are being manufactured. Okay, so that's the piping done. Now it's just this. 25 screws per rotor. And then five rods as well. And I think I'm still stuck with making the screws with these things. So, oh god, I don't have enough. <laughs> God, look at that count go up. I may have to automate this. I missed some of my alternative recipes. I wish it would show you the tooltip for it here. Alternate cast screw. I'd forgotten about that one. That's what I should do. Um, oh, you can't make rotors in a constructor, can you? It has to be an assembler. Which <laughs> I need rotors to make. I can make a few of those. Nice thing about it being a uh, 
a full refund when you deconstruct something is you can just quickly make one and check okay so I don't have yeah I don't have an alternate recipe for the rotor I do have an alternate oh oh my god I'd have the stitched iron plate in this one that is so nice okay that's really good and I've got the bolted frame alternate for this as well, which means it's probably not a bad idea to have screw assembly. If I have to do this, I'll do it off stream, but I also might consider running back again just for the purposes of getting a lot of those screws because I've got screw manufacture going on and I'm not feeding them into anything. I might have to bring a bunch back here. Now, oh, it's quartz that... Wait, I have the Explorer? Wait, can I build the Explorer? You've got to be kidding me. I can make the frickin' Explorer? The thing holding me back is I guess I need those, uh, the crystal things, and I need the motor. Okay, you know what? This stuff is going to take us a while. Crystal Oscillator. Okay. Okay. I may have to make another quartz run if I'm going to do that. Probably do that off stream too. Oh, you need heavy modular frame as well, but because I've been to a few crash sites, I managed to pick a bunch of that up. That's fun. You need steel pipe, I've got that. Motors aren't bad, they're just rotors and stators, but that actually... <laughs> That comes back to the rotors again. I can't make motors until I've got advanced steel production. Ugh. It all comes back to advanced steel production. Okay, what have I got here? That's a lot of plates. I think I might temporarily set this to produce screws instead, using the alt recipe. Gonna lurk and get some sleep. Hope you have a great rest of stream. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Let's go see how our concrete production is doing.
Okay. Am I gonna crash the power grid? per minute. So if I add one... Okay, that's not too bad. I think I've just got to get rid of that, and I'm going to have to focus on the main objective here, because that unlocks everything. So I need 930 iron rods, and I, oh god, and I, it's a good thing I'm making screws out of ingots. And I need 4,650 screws. Yeah, I might have to go back again. <gasps> I wish I could make the explorer. The tractor looks significantly easier, but I don't know how well it would make the journey. I don't know that I would trust it to make the journey. Alright, one more trip there and back to load up on as many screws as I can carry, and then... Hopefully that'll put us significantly closer to finishing this.
Yeah, this is almost enough to convince me that maybe I should make that, um, uh, what you call it. The wire writing thing. I'm blanking on the name. Zipline. The zipline tool. Still haven't found a use for circuit boards, though I have no doubt I'm coming up on it in my other playthrough. One day, maybe I'll actually pick that up. I never land right, though. What's this? Sulfur. Perfect. Hey, Crispy, how's it going? No jingle bells in July? Nope, that is true. Usually, anyway. Barring maybe the occasional real Christmas super fan. nothing up there anyway. Okay.
Hey, Hex, how's it going? Well, we did have a bunch of this stuff left. I'll take that. All right. Oh, jeez, more bauxite here. It's so weird that I've never seen it before. Oh, I forgot I had all these miners set up. By the time I get back here, this will be a hell of a sort of an auxiliary site. I have a lot built here. Just ready to go. No bells, let's get nuts though, yes. I've ever used this route to go back before. Kind of looks like maybe there's a reason for that. Huh. Some of this... I, oh, no, I've been here. I have been here. There's not one, but several crash sites here. Oh, no, this is all one crash site. What do you need to open this? Steel beam received and 20 megawatts. Okay. So, no can do. Yeah, I remember this area. We've been here before. Correctly, I was being chased by a spider thing. Lovely area. Not 
enough space. Okay. Mm, power slug over there, but no room. Oh, crap. There's another one here. I need to go this way more often. Jeez, all the Katerium is just right here. this crash. Yep, three encased beams. I know exactly where this is. We're pretty much there. That was a little further than I meant to fall, but that's okay. This is that same cave that I showed off earlier. Oh, and that's the same uranium. Oops. Okay, so I have more than enough screws to make the rotors that I need now, which is good. I just need to stash some of this other stuff. Okay, I still need a bunch of the iron rods, but that's alright. that back and use it to accelerate this instead. want to get advanced steel production done then I think that's just going to open up so much because we'll be able to make more stuff you know just basically being able to make the stators and full motors will really open up a lot of possibilities
Ugh, so I hope everyone had a good weekend. I'm trying to get back into the normal groove of things. We had family over, over for Canada Day for a while. And everything there went pretty well. I'm really excited that we finished not only Knights of the Old Republic, but Final Fantasy IV in such short order. That was really, really fun. For those of you who were not here earlier when we were talking about it a little bit, the plan is, since I am going to be taking a week off in the middle of the month, I don't want to start a, a quote-unquote new retro game on Retro Sunday this week. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is return to an old one that I pretty much finished, but I still have some content left to play. So we're going to play Baldur's Gate 2, specifically the Throne of Ball expansion, because I did finish Baldur's Gate 2, but I did not finish Throne of Ball. We're going to work on that. I can't promise that it's coming back into regular rotation. I'm really not convinced that I really desperately need to finish Throne of Ball, but we're going to you know, we'll load it up, we'll play it, we'll see where we left off. I still have no idea where I am. I, I do know that my party has been in combat lately. I know there were bodies nearby. I know that one of my characters is down to a single hit point, which is always fun. Especially, uh, you know, a high-level character who normally has hundreds. So that's going to be interesting. And... You know, there's just very little in the way of context to let me know where exactly I am in the story. Mind you, I also didn't really poke around and try to remember if we have a journal or something like that. I'm sure there is one. I, I seem to remember there is one. I didn't look at it yet. It probably tells me. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to work on Throne of Ball in Baldur's Gate 2 on Sunday. Then I'm taking a week off. And then when I get back, we're going to work on starting a Sierra game. And I'm going to want input on that. We're not, we're absolutely not playing Leisure Suit Larry. So I know people have already asked. No, not doing that. Uh, we're probably not going to bother with Police Quest either. Because honestly, that one, I don't know. Questionable how interesting that one really would be. So we're kind of looking mostly right now at Space Quest 1 and Quest for Glory 1. Okay, so that's 143. We need 215 iron rods. Yeah, that's not bad. They're actually getting produced reasonably quickly. Attention, incoming raid. What Please the heck? Report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera, Joduri, and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. Guys, it's an Oz raid. What the heck? The 90s are here. That's so funny. We were actually just talking about Retro Sunday Oz. I don't know if you're aware, but I do uh, Retro Sundays these days. And I just finished Knights of the Old Republic the other week. And just last night, I finished Fall or, uh, Fallout. I finished Final Fantasy IV. So it's uh, that's perfect time for a 90s are here Oz raid. How are you doing, Oz? How was your stream? Let me know what's going on. It's so good to see you. How are things going? Guys, if you don't know Oz, he is an amazing retro streamer. He does retro games pretty much all the time, not just one night a week. So if you are into the retro thing, make sure you go give Oz a follow. He is definitely worth it. He's an awesome chill guy. Really, really worth it. You will not regret time you spend in his stream. Uh, if you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of things from retro games to strategy and... Just a moment. What? Please, let's welcome the latest follower of the library to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I play mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, and like I said, retro RPGs and classic adventure games, mostly. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in as well. 
Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that one. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Uh, let me see. I saw you playing KOTOR, but have to avoid the story. That's entirely fair. It is getting a remake and everything. And I know as a retro streamer, you're probably interested in playing the original. Oh, I guess I need audio too. Uh, but yeah, I was just telling chat. Since we finished... Knights of the Old Republic, and we finished Final Fantasy IV, and I don't have an extensive history as a retro streamer, I'm going to be taking time off later this month. Like, uh, you know, I've, I've got next week, basically, and then I'm off for a week. I don't want to start a new retro game when I do Retro Sunday this week, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to a very old one, which, you know, I guess that kind of fits the whole retro theme anyway. So years and years ago, like I'm thinking 2018 is probably the last time I streamed it, I was streaming through uh, Baldur's Gate 2, but I never finished the expansion to it. I finished the game, I never finished the expansion. I'm going to return to Baldur's Gate 2 and see about finishing that expansion. See if uh, I can't make some progress in there, or, you know, at, at least make some progress. I, I don't know yet that I'm actually going to finish the game, the expansion for the game anyway. We'll have to see how that goes. So right now, this evening, I'm just playing Satisfactory. I'm kind of waiting on some stuff to be... Oh, actually, that's really good news. Okay. Ah! That's more than I needed. Perfect. I'm trying really hard to finish this milestone advanced steel production so that I can make some components that I really need to uh, get my new site here up and running. So tell me about your stream, Oz. What were you playing this evening? We had a shout. Oh, Donkey. Okay, Donkey Kong Country 3. How was that? Uh... How was that treating you this evening? I hope that all went well. We're just going to have to sit here and wait for these rotors to be built. I need 200, so we're well over, you know, three quarters of the way. It won't be that bad, but we've already been here a little while. Hey, 
And it, of course, uh, it goes without saying, if you do need to get up and, you know, go take care of stuff, grab food, whatever you do when you're done streaming, please, by all means, I know what it's like after you're done, so. Going well, beat the main game last week, but have enjoyed doing some bonus stuff. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So, how much does it have in the way of side content? Because I have to confess, I've never played any of those Donkey Kong games, aside from the original, actual Donkey Kong from, you know, arcade machines in the 80s. And it looks like... There, we're done. Whew, okay. Our first launch at the new site. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. <sighs> there we go. When I got to the credits, I was only at 48%. Damn, Oz. So you've got a lot you can do. That's really cool. Okay, so we've got 10 minutes before the pod returns, but I can still select my next active uh, research. So... We need to do probably improved melee combat. I would like to have that ed improved Xeno Basher. But we're not going to try and do that tonight. And, of course, we're going to have to get the space elevator rebuilt as well. That's going to go somewhere out there. I'll have to finish doing some paving and get that all fixed up properly. And then I'll be able to rebuild the space elevator. And it'll all be good. But for now, just having that is a big improvement. So what do we need? I wanted to complete that milestone specifically so that I can get coal generation working. But it wasn't for the coal generator. I can already build that. What did I need that for? I can do fluid buffers. Hmm. There was something... Maybe it was the car. <laughs> I don't remember, but there was something that I needed the, uh, the stators, the other part of the motor. Knowing me, how much would I like Death Stranding? I think it might surprise you, Greeny. I was very put off Death Stranding by the initial trailer for it. It wasn't until I watched it that I started thinking it might be something that I would enjoy. And it wasn't until I actually started playing it that I realized, yes, this is something that I really truly do enjoy. I think once you started playing it, you would probably come to appreciate it much the same way that I did. Because I think... You're the kind of person that would really get into the whole theme of the game. You know, the whole building connections. Everything is connection building in it. I think you would really, really enjoy that. Do you actually have the game? Do you have the director's cut or the regular version? And what platform do you have it on? Okay, so we've got stuff we can work on up here, too. I just want to take a look up here. Oop. Wait, what? The hell? I've never been irradiated up here before. What the heck? Uh, there's got to be a, 
a, a, a thing of uranium there somewhere, but geez. I haven't the faintest idea where. I can't tell you how many times I've run up this area in my other save, and it's just never been a problem. No problem, Greeny, no problem. Do what you need to do. I'm gonna do a little reconnaissance of this area here. I need to be thinking about power generation. I think in this one, unlike the other one, I'm gonna be a little more Watai-like. Instead of bringing all of the coal down and de into my base there, I actually probably will end up bringing some of it back, but I think a bunch of it is going to end up... I'm just going to build power plants up here. Oh, hello. What's this? Tyrion. Sam ore, that's useless. Limestone. Regular edition, okay. I would see what it would take to upgrade to the director's cut, but even if you can't do that, I fell in love with the game when I had just the regular edition. You do not need the director's cut in order to enjoy the game. May I have your attention for a moment? Please welcome our newest follower. Eld will have a comfy seat prepared in just a moment. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That is more Sam, or I do not need that. Okay, limestone. There's actually quite a bit of stuff around the edge of this crater. This is pretty awesome. I'm not sure I can actually do anything with Katerium yet. But if I collect enough of the ore, I should be able to unlock that. Probably got way more than I need now. Hello. Fifty megawatts. Okay. Oh, seven motors pre made for me. You just keep your calm, sir. You too. Oop, oop. Okay, so here... Yep, this is our coal. Yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep playing. The game seems to be getting a little bit jagged running, and we have had crashing problems all evening as well. 
Okay, so, oh man. It's hard even to identify where I'm building the base, but, oh, okay, so that's all of our foundationing that we've been doing. I don't want to stand on the edge. We've still got lots of these guys here, and they like to knock you flying. If you're not careful, they could easily throw me right off the edge. Fifty quarts. I've got over 200 Caterium, and I've got 50 quarts, and I've got a pile of sulfur, too. We need to go check the MAM and see what I can do with that. I should be able to unlock some stuff, at least. Oh, even... This is like Caterium Central. What the heck? Is there anything over here besides more alien monsters? And... Thank you. I'll take that. something up here. I didn't remember what. Thank you. I'm gonna try and have to figure out where this uranium deposit is. What the heck? It's right here? Now, I know for sure it's not there in my other playthrough. Something must have destroyed it. Well, I know, because I was building a gate right there for the upper part of my base. this specimen. No, thank you, but thank you. Not at this time. I'd put it to you this way, I think, ultimately, Greeny. You already have the game. Can't really hurt to give it a try, can it? Uh, okay, what are we doing here? I had a crap ton of... Ah, here we are. Might as well finish that off since I've got the stuff. Now, ma'am. Caterium. I needed 50. I think I may have collected a little overkill. The analysis of Caterium ingots is complete. Please choose a new node in a tree to begin a new analysis. So now I should be able to turn all that Caterium into ingots. Yes.
Okay, I'm not going to sit there and make you watch all of that. Um. Oh, but I do need 20 more. So I won't do all of it, but I will do a few bit, a bit more. I just need 50. Done. Analysis of quick wire is complete. So now I don't need a hundred quick wire just yet. Oh, I hadn't even unlocked the zip line yet. Okay. Then that'll be another hundred quick wire too. So that's as far as we're going in the Caterium line for the time being. That's fine. What do I need for that? Okay, I'm not going to worry about nutrients for now. Power slugs. 25 rotors. No, thank you. Quartz. I've done a lot with the quartz tree. I should have enough actual quartz, though, to give me the shards that I need quartz crystal for unlocking shatter rebar which is I know it's unconventional for me because basically it gives you a shotgun once I actually get the rebar gun which I also don't have but it's really really handy for taking out certain types of enemies now I'm still gonna drop it like a hot potato as soon as I have something that I can do accurately from greater range some kind of rifle if there is one but for now it's about the best I got so for this one we need 50 reinforced plates 25 rotors and I've got the screws for it that gives me the ability to make the rebar gun and the actual rebar and then I'd be able to make use of the shatter rebar because yeah Okay, so we can't do that one yet. Mycelia. I haven't done a lot with mycelia yet. But now that I'm here and I know where that cave is... Oh, medical properties. I can't even do that yet because of the Stator thing. Or I guess I can now. I couldn't have. Yeah, we can do it now. Okay, so that's... Good. All right. I think... Oh, jeez. It's after five in the morning. All right, guys. I would love to keep going. But I've got stuff to do tomorrow. And I've got stuff to do over the next few days as well to get ready for next week. So, I think this is a good time to quit and find somebody awesome to raid. We are on quite late tonight. Plus, I've got more stuff that I have to do even before I can go to sleep tonight, so probably about that time. Let me see if I can find somebody awesome that we can go visit. Yeah, I know that struggle, Greeny. There are a lot of games that I would love to play if only I had the time, but fitting them into the schedule, that's the trick. What you could do is something that, I mean... um, something that I do on occasion, even if you can't spend time and really play it, you could try just loading it up and playing it for a few minutes. Now, I will warn you in advance, that's trickier than you might think with Death Stranding because it's got, you know, it, it takes a while before you get into the game proper. There's a little bit of an intro sequence and then you've got an area where you're basically, it's kind of tutorialville and it's... Yeah, it's a while before the game really opens up for you. But it'll at least give you a feel of the style and a bit about the character and that kind of thing. So it might be worthwhile. Thanks for the stream and helping your masters conquer the universe or whatever it is that they're trying to do. Thank you, JH. I appreciate it. Let me see who we've got online this evening.
Looks like Slappy Jack is still on. He's playing I'm on Observation Duty. I haven't seen that game before. That looks like it might be interesting. Something to do with security cameras and whatnot. Simcopter1 is playing Fall Guys. And T with Mandy is playing Monster Hunter Rise, presumably. I, I, I assume the new expansion is out for that. I don't know for sure. Uh, she does say she's trying out new weapons in her stream title, so I'm guessing that's because it's uh, expansion content, but I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. So if you have any preferences there, I know it's a bit of a shorter list that tends to happen when I'm on this late, but uh, I'll go over the list again real quick. We have Slappy Jack playing I'm on Observation Duty. We have... Simcopter1 playing Fall Guys. And we have Mandy playing Monster Hunter Rise. So if you have a particular preference with regards to the game or the streamer, just let me know and I cannot promise that it will dictate where we go, but I can promise that it will influence where we go. So just uh, let me know in chat if you have any preference. Otherwise, I think we will go with my own gut. All right, nobody's leaping in with any particular recommendations, so that leaves it to me. I'm kind of leaning towards either Jack or Mandy. It's a tough one. I think we might go with Jack. I think we might go with Jack. I am curious about this game that he's playing so I'm just loading up his channel here to see what's going on I do have a bit of an ad to sit through and unfortunately it's a little bit of a longer one so while we wait while I wait anyway let me get you the raid call here at the library of lore we use library raid you've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub if you're not a sub you can use the twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes in either case sub or non-sub you're always welcome to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid if you have emotes of your own that you'd like to use if there are emotes from other streamers or if there are other twitch emotes you want to use please feel free to copy the raid message arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want to use them it'll all be good in my book so uh oh hang on Shoot. Okay, the ad is over. I'm looking at Jack's stream, but I've never seen this screen before. And he's giving shout-outs. I don't know if he's just been raided or if he's about to go on a raid. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, hang on. I arrived at exactly the wrong time. I can't tell from chat what's going on. Uh, damn it. That's almost enough to make me think we should raid Mandy. Shoot. You know what? I think he's probably responding to our raid, though. If I had to guess. I think we'll go ahead, we'll raid Jack. If it turns out that he is ending and he is going on a raid somewhere else, maybe we'll just make it a double raid. So, okay. Let me get you Jack's link here. Okay, Slappy Jack 1. There we go. Let's see if we can get over there in a bit of a hurry and uh, make sure. Uh, the only thing is, I've never seen this screen before, and we've raided him before, so this does not look like a raid screen. This could be something he's shutting down with. Ugh. Oh, nope. He's going back. He's... Might be a victory screen. Okay, it looks like he... Okay, we're safe. He's still playing. We're good. Okay. Whew. All right, let's get over to Jack's stream. Thank you folks so much for making this an awesome night, a very chill Maker Monday. I will be back on Thursday 
I don't know yet what we're going to play on Thursday. Thursday and Friday are uh, the nights that I designate as anything goes. So sometimes we play games like uh, Retro or Maker or Strategy, but you know we can play pretty much anything I feel like. Uh, and so I, I don't know what that's going to be just yet. Just a moment. Please, let's welcome the latest follower of the library to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. We are just about to raid out to a friend of mine. Uh, he has been a friend of the channel for a while now where we share a stream team. So we're going to go visit Slappy Jack and see how I'm on observation duty is. Because I know nothing about the game and I'm kind of curious about it. So let's get over there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for making this an awesome stream. Like I said, I'll be back Thursday. Don't know what we'll play. It's going to be a good time no matter what it is. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Ah. Oh, you picked a very good time to show up again, Uthgur. Thank you. Careful, Uthgurd. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! This room is in lockdown, but don't worry, I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? <laughs>